So today I'm going to be going from 8 gigabytes of RAM to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So my current setup is an i5 10400F and an RTX 2060 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Obviously that's probably not enough RAM to really do anything and I've had this computer for about eight months now so it's finally time to upgrade. Here I have two 8 gigabyte sticks of RAM that I've just got recently and we're going to be putting this into my computer today. And we're going to be comparing the differences between two games, those being Cold War and Minecraft. So if you find this video enjoyable, please make sure to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, we have Call of Duty Cold War. Alright, so here we are on Call of Duty Cold War. I recently got this game, and you can see that uh, it doesn't really look the best, but, uh, you know, I'm getting over 60 FPS, which is the most important thing. It is currently on the lowest settings possible, and this is actually not pre-recorded, so this is me actually playing. I am playing against bots because I am dog water at the game, so... Uh, yeah, I'm also here with a friend. <sighs> so yeah, even though I am on the lowest settings, I'm getting around 70 CPS and, um, yeah, not CPS, FPS. <laughs> I'm playing too much Minecraft. Yeah, I, I'm absolutely terrible at this game in every way possible. <laughs> Just murdered that guy. I'm going for his family now, especially the dog. But yeah, in summary, uh, with 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, DDR4, not not the best i am on the lowest settings but we're also going to compare on the lowest settings with 16 gigs instead so uh we're going to jump to that right after we play minecraft next all right and here we are in minecraft so this is the main game that i play on my channel and we're going to be uh looking at my fps and stuff like that right about now so this is unmodded regular minecraft no optify nothing like that you can see in the top left corner that i'm only getting about 150 50-ish, it fluctuates CPS, not CPS, FPS, which is weird because when I first got the computer, I would get around 300. I don't know what changed. I'm thinking I'm just running low in storage and stuff like that, but the RAM can also be a factor. So you can see on the right there, Intel Core i5-10400F, CPU at 2.90 gigahertz, and then my graphics card, which is a GeForce RTX 2060. You see that all in the top right. It does not say my RAM in the top right, but I am only on eight gigabytes right now, which is what came with this computer. It is actually a pre-built computer. I did not build this myself simply because of pricing. I did not have, well, I had a lot of money, but I didn't want to build my own computer because I knew it would be even more expensive. And everybody knows how expensive graphic cards are on their own. So getting a pre-built is just, Hello? I'm getting around 250 standing still, and when I move, it drops down a lot. So, we're going to actually go ahead and flip to a real-life camera, and we're going to be taking apart my computer. Well, not actually taking it apart, but we're going to be opening it up and replacing our RAM with 16 gigabytes total. So, let's flip to that right about now. All right, so here we go. We have my Dell G5 on the desktop. Yes, I'm recording with my phone. It is a very old phone, so the quality and the audio is probably going to be really bad. But we're going to go ahead and get our tools and open this bad boy up and take a look on the inside. All right, here we go. We have opened up my computer. I have never opened this thing up before, so I have just, just, I just screwed up my warranty. That doesn't matter, though. So right here we have our RAM slot. We need to take this out and then put our new RAM in. So right here we have our CPU, we have our GPU. In here, I think this is where my uh, hard drive and stuff would go, but it's not in there, so I'm thinking it's over here. Yes, I suck at computers. Motherboard is under there. Exhaust or <laughs> exhaust fan. Uh, this is for the the uh, I guess exhaust fan. Yeah, sure. And there's a CPU fan. So all right, and our two eight gig RAM cards have been put in. So we have two slots that have been filled with new RAM cards out here. I have my old one, and in here we have the two new ones. Uh, if you want to know how, you just push down these little tabs on your motherboard, pull out your old RAM, put in your new one, carefully put it down or push down on both sides at the same time, and you should be good. So there we go. We have 16 gigabytes installed on our PC now. So let's go ahead and jump on to Call of Duty uh, Cold War and Minecraft, and we're going to see the performance upgrade. All right, we have loaded up Minecraft with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I can tell you right now that it's, it's already giving me more uh, FPS, which I'm just going to show you right now, 300, 294, 300, 262. So if you remember before, we were getting about 150 to 250, and now we're getting 250 plus. Well, so that just proves that uh, upgrading your RAM actually does 
healthier FPS in some cases, but we have to test out Call of Duty next. So what this basically did was when I'm recording, it allows me to get more FPS in games because recording, if you know this, it takes a toll on your CPS or not CPS, CPU and your GPU. So having more RAM allows you to do more things at once, which is super helpful for recording, video editing and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and hop over to Call of Duty and see how that uh, runs. All right, and here we are on Call of Duty Cold War. I can already tell you that the startup time and the shader installation, everything like that has loaded 10 times faster than before. So this upgrade, I can already tell, is 100% worth it. Oh God, I don't have any kind of like stutters or anything like that anymore. It's just everything loads really fast. There's no like quality texture loading issues or anything like that. So going from eight to uh, 16 has obviously improved not only the FPS, but the actual performance of the game itself. I can easily record on lowest settings without, uh, you know, my computer having a stroke. So that's great. So if you guys have an eight gigabyte uh, RAM stick in your system and you're looking to upgrade something in your uh, PC and you have a good graphics card and a good CPU, I would recommend upgrading your RAM 100% because I mean, it makes all the difference in the world for me. I mean, I've already noticed that everything loads 10 times faster. Even my boot up of the PC loaded really fast. Opening a Chrome tab was really fast. Opening everything was really fast. So uh, it's definitely worth it, the upgrade. I couldn't even imagine what 32 gigs would be like. That would probably be crazy. All right, and here we are on high settings. These are only high settings, not uh, the ultra settings. Wow. So you can see I'm at roughly 140 to 160 FPS as opposed to my 200 to 210 earlier, which isn't actually that bad of a drop from going from the ultra low to high settings. So yeah, um, wow, that's all I can say. This is so much better than playing on low settings and all laggy and stuff. I've gone from that all the way up to high settings. Uh, basically as smooth as it gets and yeah so that is my upgrade from 8 gigabytes of RAM to 16 gigabytes of RAM Wow is all I can say because the difference is huge man it was so worth it I'll touch that if you guys are looking to upgrade I would uh, suggest upgrading it from 8 to 16 it only cost a hundred dollars which I say only but you know it's actually pretty cheap if we're talking about computer parts and stuff first time ever opening my computer first time ever like looking in there and changing things out and it was successful I didn't mess anything up so uh, I say that's a, su a success so thank you guys for watching all the way to the end if you have make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy if you found this video enjoyable and I will see you in the next video which comes out a week from now because I'm only doing uh, one video a week now because of school and finals and stuff like that so yeah see ya